Welcome to Good Mythical More. Random disturbing facts. Oh, give it to me. There are over 200 corpses of climbers and Sherpas on Mount Everest. Just just frozen up there. Yeah, when you die up there, they leave you. And this is, I mean, that's this is a random disturbing fact. It's a fact. Think about that. It's you're, a true fact. You're going up there to the uh, to the top of the thing that's the toppest. And, and they now call you, that the summit. And now you've got a, it's the toppest, toppest of all tops. Well, I'm going to go to the top, top, please. One ticket to the top of the top. Of all tops. And you're passing by all of these dead people. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to get yeah. some from my house. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Let's bring in some team members, uh, the same ones we've been hanging out with, and let's <laughs> let's uh, let's take them down a notch by talking about their. Well, you, you you don't have to come in if you don't want to, guys. You want to? Don't rush in all at take once. Take them down a notch and talk about their extreme life fails. And uh, I got one more life hack for you that I found. You can take um, a medical glove, fill it up with warm warm water, and you always have a hand to hold. Oh. That's so lonely. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's one over there for you, Matt. Oh, you always have yeah. a hand to hold. Now I have a friend. It kind of looks like um, like one of those stress balls. It looks like it feels good. You're holding it's it very, romantically. That's it's very romantic. warm. It looks like it belonged to your do, do a friendship. Yeah. No, no, I That's only believe in the part. interlocking <laughs> fingers. All right, so <laughs> on these mine, cards, so I have the printed. Uh, <laughs> it's for handshake practice. All time life. <laughs> I've been needing this. Mm -hmm. Our task, Rhett, is to ma uh, match. Mm -hmm the life fail with the person mm. with the life i always lose this even though we can't lose come on a little closer stevie we're, we're about to lose you behind you Matt. Come, right you come on over here what's this there you go don't be shy guys all right here's our first one i now i'm reading i this is not me this is one of them just for clarity's sake mm. i audibly farted this is off to a good start. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I audibly farted in the middle of an Irish step dancing recital, <laughs> and everyone had to dance through the cloud of it. The cloud of it. <laughs> the cloud of it. <laughs> the cloud of it. <laughs> okay, okay, so who is the most likely to have been participating, not in an audible fart, because that could be any of you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Do you I believe, I believe you participate. I believe fart? you can all participate in an, in an audible <laughs> fart. Yeah. I believe in you. In Read that deeply. Way. You're a participant. <laughs> but who would be in, in an Irish dance recital? To me, the first person I think of is Emily. Right? I mean, how could that wow. not be Emily? I think you're like a, you're an Irish stepper. Hmm. I think you've got some. You know this is fake, right? <laughs> <laughs> like I, I would pay a lot of money for this. Ago. I think they're no, calling no, you I, a drunk. I pay a lot of money to look like an <laughs> Irish stepper. It has nothing to do with your red hair. <laughs> It has to do with the fact that I feel like I've heard something about like clogging or something in your background, and I know that like that's was like, it because you heard me walking in these? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's, a, it's a southern thing to do to be like yeah, involved in like Irish yeah, dancing. I'm, I'm, my wife, oh, Christy, on. she um, she was an avid clogger yeah. mm. as a child. She would travel to fairs and participate in clogging uh, competitions. Cool. And that's that's why you married her, right? Yeah, it is. And is every night she gives me a private. Clogging. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I would like a clogging. <laughs> they have numbers that you can call for that. <laughs> uh, wow. Mm. Oh, I didn't know how fun that would be. Uh, Give so it yeah, to Emily. I think this is right. Emily because uh, it seems like a. Where are you from? Kentucky, West Virginia? Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. I say that I've said that like five times to you. I, I'm convinced <laughs> you're from Kentucky. Arkansas and Nashville, I'm both of those. Arkansas and Nashville. I like yeah. that Kentucky's a city in West Virginia. <laughs> you're from Kentucky, West Virginia. <laughs> Next one. I stole my sister's Walkman to listen to her Celine Dion album, and when she caught me, I pretended to make fun of her music choices, making her destroy the tape in embarrassment. Ooh. I had to save up to buy her a new one. Wow. This has got Stevie written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie has a sister. Mm -hmm. Stevie, uh, I've met your sister a couple of times. She seems like she would be into Celine. Oh. Uh, and this, and we know that you're secretly into Celine. Yeah, and I like saving up. Yep, you do. <laughs> and this feels <laughs> like the kind of mind trick that you could really easily pull off. 
Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see you making someone feel awful about their choice. <laughs> Even though you totally agreed with it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Destroy the tape, sis. Destroy it! Yeah. Thank you. Yep. That's a... That's brutal. That's, <laughs> That's brutal. Anybody want to hold a hand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap it. You want to hold a hand? Yeah. I'll hold the thumb. Oh, Ew! Wow. <laughs> it feels good, doesn't it? It is, it? is warm. Yeah. It's like, really warm. It's like a cow udder. I want to play with it. <laughs> yeah. You just got to spank it. It's pretty um, pleasing. Squeeze it like an udder. Yeah. Next gonna... one, Mike. I, I want them to have as much fun with that as they want. We're going to continue on. to have fun. <laughs> I did not have valid government ID for a full year. <laughs> And was able to get into bars and travel on multiple domestic flights. Whoa. Whoa, we've got a criminal in our midst. <laughs> <laughs> How is this a fail? Mm. Yeah, it sounds like a yeah. win. This is a success. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, my first instinct on this one is Ellie. Uh, why? Why, why are you that? saying that? <laughs> because you you have a way uh, of, of getting people to like you. I could see how you could just kind of talk your way into something. And I also know that you recently <laughs> to the plane. missed um, missed a vacation because of lack of government ID. Yeah, fully or missed a full vacation. Expired well, then that undermines ID. the thing, because it... Well, but you know what? Times, so, have, times have changed, man. Do you want to share mm -hmm. a bit of that story, what happened? Yeah, well, so for my birthday, I planned, uh, I, I bought tickets and lodging for a trip to Mexico with my friends and my boyfriend. And the night before when I was checking into the flight, I realized that my passport had expired four days prior. No! <laughs> um, uh, you think you would check that, but I would just thought I had the passport, I'm good. Good enough. Because, you know. Sometimes that's not the case. Because right. it, it's good for what, four years at least, right? Ten years, ten normally. Years, yeah. Ten years, of, I mean, you, it's, it's easy to figure. It really sneaks up on you. I, I mean, I know I would. <laughs> Life goes by fast. Yeah. So that's why it's not. And then my boyfriend went without me. What? Happy birthday! Yeah. yeah. I've talked to Pat about this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think he did the You're right thing. You're good, Pat. <laughs> I haven't talked to Pat. He doesn't speak to me. Um, that's why this, I mean, I think this has got to be Matt Lee. You think this is Matt Lee? Me? What? I mean, did you hear her story? Okay. How could it be her? Well, all right. Okay. Well, we can switch it in a yeah, second. We don't know what the last story is. All right, here's the last story. In elementary school, I stabbed myself trying to make glasses out of a paper towel roll. <laughs> Saw the blood, fainted, hit my head, then the floor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who was trying to make, now, were, these, were they trying to make functioning glasses? Or was this like just fun glasses? This me? <laughs> I feel like this um, might have been somebody who, whose parents wouldn't get them real glasses. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to have to make my own. <laughs> do, do you, do you, so you don't wear contacts. Formally British. <laughs> no. So we know this 20, isn't Ellie. 20, 20. Mm -hmm. Formally Oliver Twist. Well, I guess you don't uh, have to have real glasses to make fake glasses out of paper towel. Here's what's true: is that I look amazing in glasses, and the fact that I have 20/20 vision is a huge bummer. Because give me those frames. I Maybe think that's why this is her because she. You know what? She's the only one without glasses. Right, a lot of glasses you know what? Going. I think you're right. And another thing to back up the theory that Matt Lieb is the one who traveled without government ID Go on. is I don't know exactly how that's old you are, mm, but thank you. I believe that you are old enough to that's have. Good. You can't. You couldn't have done like this before 9/11, right? Sure. But I mean, you could only have done this before 9/11. Sure. Right? And so. I feel like you were None old enough were to be born, traveling yeah. on right. your own before 9-11 <laughs> as an adult. Wait, so Only you think that. I'm older? Yeah. You bingo. Well, then I, I rescind my thank you from earlier. <laughs> yeah, so I think, I, think, I think this is right. I think Matt very young. is the traveler and I think Ellie's the glasses. I feel, I, I feel really good about this, actually. It, ha ha. Let's start with Matt here. So what, you want to know the is truth? It, is, this, is this you or no? This is not me. Ah! Dang. It's me! So, ah, it was, was you! you. <laughs> yeah, okay. before the passport incident, I had no ID. <laughs> All right, so you'll just hold that one. Oh, sure. now, so tell us, this, how, how did you get on the flights? You just bring um, as much stuff as you can, like um, pay stubs and like your credit card what? and your debit card and your... I had a student... I had both my high school ID and my college ID. Um, after 9-11? This is after 9-11. This is like two years ago. What? And uh, uh, they just... They make you go through a separate security so that they they like look through all your bags and they like fully hmm. sort of. But that didn't work for Mexico. They clog you. Why did no, you do no. that? No, no. 
I just lost it. And then, and then once you lose everything, year? it's very hard to get it back. Was this domestic travel or international travel? Domestic travel. Right. So yeah. if you have an expired ID for domestic travel, you can be okay. But I didn't have that either. Okay. Well, I'm just, this is for me because my yeah. ID is expired and I'm going to Hawaii. Wait a minute. <laughs> and I want to make fun. sure it's okay. 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 Thank God. You, you just have to get to the, hour, the, the airport an hour earlier than you normally would. Which everyone loves doing that. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Well, it's Stevie. It's a fun place. Are we correct? You are incorrect. Oh! You wow. lost this time. Wow. Uh, that's <laughs> mine. That's not mine. This is mine. <laughs> um, All right, so. Yeah, I, um, instead of like, okay, one would think if you're making glasses out of a paper towel roll, you like <coughs> compress it a little bit and you cut across. No, not I. I stuck my hand into the paper towel roll and then stabbed oh. through. Like and the then, bagel. Just like the bagel. Yeah, and then <laughs> when I saw that I'd cut myself, I fainted and I hit the table and the stool and the floor and busted the side of my lip and then mouth open. And then I woke up in a completely different room and I was like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Well, on on the bright side, yeah. at least you didn't break your glasses when you did it, you know? <laughs> that's you're right. Yeah. That's so that's good. Uh, yes. Could have been worse. Yeah, right. Yeah. Did you get a nickname in elementary school as, as a result of that? No. The, the fainter? Like, no. dainty fainty? There were like 12 dainty kids fainty. in my class, so like that would have been, that would have been horrible. Crappy like, MacGyver. Other kids <laughs> me, but they didn't. So, it was kind of cool, it was like a war battle wound. Okay, so we're, 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 we have to be with Emily. Maybe Emily's right. Yeah, this is right. <laughs> yeah. We knew you were Irish. Art clown. I wasn't Irish. I just really liked Lord of the Dance. Yeah. Sure. Well, I liked oh. Michael Flatley. Let's oh, yeah. be real. Lord of the Dance. Um, but yeah, I was really into River Dance and Lord of the Dance. Yes, and my that best was it. friend and I, when we were 12, signed up for community center classes, which was full of like <laughs> divorcees trying to find themselves. Yeah, and then the us, the 12 year old girls. And then we had a recital in a community center, and it's just like, you know, old men in <laughs> bad jeans, and <laughs> and I farted so loud. And then, <laughs> but my best friend Laura was looking at me the whole time. We're like doing this turn and the whole thing. Just and keep everybody's dancing. having to go through it. And we're looking at it, you know, when you're like in a place where you can't laugh out loud, but you need to. But and you it, can fart out loud. It hurts so much more. But just everyone is looking at me in this do -si do situation. You're just looking at them back like, prove I was like, it. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Prove it was me. <laughs> never went back, never did a class yeah. again. Breathe my cloud. <laughs> you, can't, you can't return. I'm so red just thinking oh. about it. It's so bad. So, Matt, which one were you? Celine Dion. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I really loved the album. I would listen to it in my sister's room when she was gone. <laughs> And I would just listen to it alone because it's super like that. We can be like that. When you do me like that. You know that song? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Been there before. So then she caught me. <laughs> And uh, and I immediately started what uh, mocking her like when you kiss me like this. And she thought I was making fun of her because I, I had to cover my tracks. And then yeah. she yelled at me. And then she broke the cassette. And I had to save up the money to buy a new one, which I hid for myself in my room. <laughs> so, so that's not right. So you didn't buy it for Oh, you bought it for yourself. I had to save up to buy a new one. <laughs> Someone added her. I did not add her. They can't I mean, give you credit. I think, I think the assumption was, well, certainly he bought her the new album. <laughs> no. I was like, nah, nah, I was still ashamed of it. So I should really tell her I did that. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. What's her name? Diana. Diana? Sorry. Great things come in pairs. Get the LTAT mug and tea now at mythical.com.